السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ہم سوری گائز ہم نو ہم نو پین مور ٹو وان بٹ ہم دس از ان امپورٹنٹ اپڈیٹ ائی جس ریسیو فرام ائی ویری ام گڈ ریسرچر اینی وے سو ہن اللہ دی نریٹیو دیٹ ام ائی ہیو بین ام ہیو انڈرسٹڈ Uh, is unfolding so far and how I believe that Turkey is going to be used to steer the Muslim world, the Muslim Arab world and other significant uh, regions, Islamic uh, Muslim uh, populations into a protracted war with the um, Orthodox Christians which would be um, uh, uh, in Syria as well as in Russia as has been laid out in um, the letter by Albert Pike to Mazzini. I certainly recommend, if you haven't still read it, please pull it out and read it, and you'll find that um, World War I, II, and three have been laid out, and then one and two have already occurred pretty much the way they have basically uh, um, meant for it to. Anyway, uh, um, like I said, I take the Prime President Prime Minister of Turkey, um, Uh, and his approach with a lot of caution. Uh, I certainly felt that the military coup uh, in Turkey recently was staged and I still maintain that position. Uh, I also feel that it was done to um, a, a realign the patriotic um, um, uh, alliance of the citizens of that country to the Prime Minister and then also do away with uh, any opposition that existed in that country for what lies ahead of them and what's their intention uh, in the future and the intention seems to be that he is going to be used by the elitist the satanic forces to bring about World War three uh, against um, uh, Russia and draw in the Muslims uh, 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 to be honest with you he has been set up to be a leader, an Islamic leader at least, um, uh, within that region and someone who basically has had a maverick attitude on the international stage, on the international platform, uh, just to lull the masses and fool them, to be honest with you. And this is what I see and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. I understand that there are certain very respected and beloved ulama, Mufti, Kiram, who held a different position. Uh, uh, and I am still urging caution with regards to this uh, 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 drive and push towards um, supporting this particular Prime Minister in his endeavours simply because what we've been shown on the international stage is that he had taken a U-turn and um, almost like severed his relations with the United Nations and USA and then establishing a new um, dialogue and this uh, at least uh, with Russia, uh, an unprecedented one, and almost like a, uh, a, a new alliance was forming between them and um, between Russia, Turkey and Iran. But on the ground, um, as I understand it, and don't forget there's two things happening, an esoteric and an exoteric um, a narrative. And one narrative is for the masses and the other narrative is for those in the north. Those in the know understand that the uh, uh, the exoteric uh, narrative is played out on the mainstream media, and because both the thesis and the antithesis seem to be part of the same structure, in other words, they're all sleeping in bed together. Whether that would be Putin and Obama, and then their respective alliances, they are all, as far as I understand it, in bed together, and the Muslim Ummah, uh, the humanity, are being lulled into this false war using the Hegelian dialectic thesis and antithesis. Now, uh, how do I deduce that? It's basically with the rhetoric on in the mainstream media and then what's really happening on the ground. Now, uh, right now, this is, um, uh, I'll, I'll share the um, uh, uh, link to this particular um, article with you on the description page and some other stuff that I've got as well. But uh, if you take a look at this, <clears throat> breaking Israel embedded with ISIS in Mosul. So you have to be, you have to really uh, listen to this. It has been speculated that Mosul will take until around the end of December to conquer. Many suspect 
more than 30,000 deaths will result, according to an anonymous, anonymous inside source intelligence reports that many of the ISIS leaders speak leaders speak Hebrew. Olema, you know, we already know this. I know we do, but this is this is um, uh, current information which you're not going to find on the mainstream media uh, or them talking about. But this is updated information that these um, leaders who are running ISIS at the moment are speaking uh, Hebrew and quite fluently. Members of the Iraqi army are reporting that first the uh, that the first refugees are swearing that at least 10 ISIS leaders spoke Hebrew to each other and also had Israeli walkie-talkies, guns and cell phones. Our source says they also spoke Arabic but with a strong Israeli accent. However, none of the mainstream Western media is uh, mentioning any of this. These leaders left five days ago and met no resistance from either Iraqi, Turkish or US forces. Now you'll understand where the allegiance is. Iraq, certainly, they place their own public government there. Turkey, as far as I'm concerned, uh, despite what they show the um, international on the international mainstream narrative, they're still in cahoots with the USA, <coughs> uh, and not necessarily with Russia. Now, Russia, although, as far as I'm concerned, all of these, I mean, this is like one part of the thesis, all right, and this is where the alliance is in that, uh, th that part of the thesis, uh, as well as other countries. And then you've got Russia and their allied forces and that part of the thesis. But again, like I said, they're all part of the same structure. It's just a huge play, a scripted play that's unfolding on the Ummah and designed that way for it to look as though there are two um, uh, um, conflicting um, um, sides that are fighting against each other and they've got their own allied nations. The idea is all these leaders are part of the same structure, but they are taking their citizens, their respective citizens, the innocent people, the innocent masses, into a nuclear war. And I believe that Turkey is going to be used in order to drive, coerce, and direct the Muslim world uh, uh, in uh, in this um, uh, this uh, this war, the world, the Malhama, the World War Three. And so the ulama really need to pay attention to what's going on and the rhetoric. And, I mean, subhanAllah, we've come across a lot of individuals who have quoted, you know, from the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And alhamdulillah, you know, mashallah, we have to, because our hearts soften instantly when we see someone reciting the kalam of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or invoking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But we've seen that with... Um, We've seen that with Al Qaeda. We've seen that this with this uh, uh, this false version of the Taliban. We've seen that in so many other instances where ISIS are doing it now. You know, and we have to become. I mean, where 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 where's our Firasa gone? You know, where's our Basira gone? You know, you have to look at the, what's happening on the ground. And I mean, again, it seemed so scripted when uh, the whole uh, uh, situation surrounding the Turkish Prime Minister was unfolding. You know, it, 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 it seemed very obvious. And, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But I really genuinely have, from the bottom of my heart, real concerns about this now. And they're literally right now, as I understand it, within 10 kilometers of uh, a, 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 the, uh, the region where uh, Russia had scored a line and, and told Turkey that if they were to cross this boundary, then war would start. I mean, there was no, they didn't mince their words about this. They were very clear about it, right? And it seems like Turkey has just basically, they're 10, kilo, uh, 10 kilometers away from that particular boundary. And who knows how further they have advanced since. And Allah subhanahu wa knows best. Anyway, the, uh, on the ground, so you see Iraq, Turkey, US forces. What nobody knows is that Iran is helping to drive ISIS out, right? Now that makes sense because Iran is allied with Russia and they're part of that thesis. But remember, again, as far as I'm concerned, at the top, all of them are in bed together. And it's clear ISIS is supported and led by Israeli and the CIA. So obviously Israel and uh, USA are again allied. You've seen that Turkish, uh, Turkey, although on the international stage, he even walked away. I mean, the first time he got the sort of limelight in the Muslim world was when he basically um, um, uh, uh, um, took to task the, uh, the Israeli Prime Minister on the international stage and he walked away during a discussion together on the stage away from him in disgust and it seems so scripted again and straight away he had the Muslim world rally behind him applauding him 
and um, really um, uh, uh, felt um, um, uh, um, almost like the Muslim world was basically um, had a voice right and he was it and this is how the mainstream media then pushed him as well in those particular regions right so I mean it is it's all happening from a regional level to a from micro level to a macro level and you've got to basically I mean unfortunately what we do is we take our news from the Western media and that's about it when there are so many alternative sources and they say a different story and what you have to do is basically merge the two on a very uh, local level to a regional level to the Western level and to the other uh, the, the other region and then through that through a process of elimination processing that information seeing what's happening on the international stage what's happening in alternative media and then um, uh, I guess draw our conclusions from that and look at the rhetoric and look at the alliances and look at what's really happening and it's it's it, it really does you know smile that it, it, it becomes a little obvious as to what's happening and we will see, I guess, uh, very soon. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. But again, my only concern is that the Muslims don't get drawn into a bloodbath, uh, you know, a, a, a mass slaughter. Uh, one life of a believer is enough for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to run the nizam of the whole world, you know, of, of the universe. Every, every life is an important life. You know, so I mean, for us to basically, you know, um, um, be a little hasteful and um, and I understand that emotions and sentiment and uh, all of that but we have to have we have to have hikmah we have to have basira we have to <clears throat> take a moment and just uh, look at the uh, situation objectively uh, 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 and then maybe you know uh, uh, inshallah you know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will you know, guide us to uh, to making the right decisions, and I'm, I'm, I may really be absolutely wrong, right? Uh, what nobody knows is that Iran is helping to drive ISIS out, and it clears the uh, ISIS, and it and it's clear ISIS is supported and led by the Israelis and the CIA, while being helped by Saudis. Now, do you see, Saudi Arabia again, they're allied with this same uh, extension, right? Meanwhile, Turks, ISIS leadership will be suited in Istanbul by mid-December and Kurds and the Iraqi are so upset by this they plan to demand Turkey have no part of Mosul campaign and those are just little differences they've got on the ground we will continue to update you with more information from our sources um, uh, this was posted as I understand it today I can't seem to find a date on it uh, and, and then moving on Again, Mosul ISIS executes 284 men, throws their bodies into mass graves. 284 men and boys. This is the 22nd of October. I'm going to link, leave a link to this as well. You know, so, ya Allah, you know. Anyway, Jazakallah khairan wa sallam. Jazakallah khairan wa sallam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.